Hello everyone, I am Priyasha and welcome back to Pitch Ground. So Wave Stories are attracting 5x more user engagement, time spent on site, and ads awareness. So today we are looking at Storyscraper.io. It's a tool that makes it easy to create web stories by finding relevant topics, curating images, and formatting content. It can be used to generate web stories using a single keyword or URL and also supports scraping multiple stories or sites. A digital content creator, an SMB, or an ACO expert can use story scraper to automate web stories okay so as soon as you log in this should be your dashboard now here you see these options such as uh, under features you have upgrade top up other services faq and help contact us knowledge base here in this drop down you can see your uh, account details this is change password and log out okay next if we scroll down here you see six options story remaining unlimited because i haven't posted any story yet and this is link your wordpress new scraper keyword to story old scraper direct password records i'll show you each one by one first thing first here you can see top up credit and upgrade so here the main thing is if you post one story your one credit point will be used the first thing we will see is link your wordpress if you click on this view details you need to log in again and then again click on view details this is where you have to put all your website details your website url username password and enter url of logo this is optional in this drop down you see uh, there is option for adsense if you select yes it will ask you to give the publisher id and then add slot code for now we are selecting no and then click on link web here you can see your website has been added the password is hidden and then you also have the option to delete and you can add multiple websites from here as well okay so the next option is new scraper version 4.0 this is a tool uh, from where you can actually uh, scrape stories from other websites so here you see we have two options bulk story and single story like if we go to hindustan times you can see they have multiple web stories right this is the link we can select any one suppose this one this is the link for that and you see there are multiple stories so these are actually single story thing you copy this link from here and then go back to this page just paste it here so here we have almost 9 to 10 stories and from here you can select a uh, number of stories you want to scrape for now i'm selecting seven and then uh, you select a swipe up link like your call to action whatever you want to have if you are a e-commerce brand then you can select your shop link from here and then we have call to action here we have learn more read more shop now whatever call to action you want you can put it from here then remove text from story this option is very interesting it's very powerful actually if you go back here you can see you can delete this text from the images as well if you want and then you select any category name if you have already you know categorized for now i'm selecting general when you have this customization option like your text color your background color the background opacity for now i'm selecting 100 for you know more clarity and then select border this border is actually uh, for the text this border will appear around the text like this you can see this is a solid border right solid rectangular border so from here you can choose whether you want solid dotted dashed whatever you want and then border width 0 to 10 then which uh, plugin you are using for now the default setting is google and then change text to so here you can see this is a English text but with our story scraper tool you can actually translate this text into multiple languages this is very interesting and then you select your website where you want to you know post your stories which I have already you know showed uh, I have already linked before so from here you can select your website and then there is export type direct post I'm selecting and then a draft or publish i want to publish it now so i'm selecting publish and then click on start magic okay here you can see the status of your uh, you know script you have a id here and the status written right here and then the website where you want to scrape and the action if you want to stop you can stop it from here so how would you know that the scraping is actually happening or not for that we have to go back to our uh, wordpress 
dashboard here you see media and then library click on this and here you can see all the images that we already scraped these are actually added you can see 3 seconds 11 seconds 28 seconds ago so from here you actually know that okay this scraping is actually happening okay one very important thing for the whole uh, process you need to install a plugin that is web story i have already activated so it is showing me deactivate but you need to install this plugin next to see your stories go to stories and then click on all stories click on view and here you can see all the scrap stories on your own website these are the yellow text and then background black and then the dotted border whatever you have selected it will appear right here and you can see also the image quality is too good like it, it's almost like the original one and in this below section you can see this call to action you can click here and you will be redirected to another page like your audience will be redirected to another page so this is how you can use story scraper for scraping stories from another website so i will show you a very interesting feature and that is keyword to story for here in the new scraper 4.0 version you will have to find a source website and then scrape the stories from there but in this keyword to story feature if you just put a keyword it will automatically scrape some stories from different websites and will add to your own website you no need to find any website and scroll through the pages and then find which one is better which one is not you just need to put the keyword and it will scrape automatically for you so this is the power of story scraper.io you need to try that so let's say we are selecting some bollywood actor name and then the same process you need to select the slides how many stories do you want to scrape and then again the same steps the swipe up links call to action then category name and then text color background color opacity and select the border for now let's select change the text to hindi click on start magic the scraping has started you can see the notification here scroll down and you can see also the status here same as before now if you're going back to media you can see the automated stories you can see one second four seconds ago this is already there let's select the preview option and right here you can see this is there you don't need to work anything this is the hindi text you didn't have to do anything your story is right there just a max to max two minutes of work and your stories are right here that's the power of AI and you should definitely try that. So this old scraper will be removed soon for our new updated version that is 5.0 version. And next we have this direct post records. If you click on here, it will show your whole history. Like from where it has been scraped, the stories have been taken and the website where it has posted and the date the story count every detail that you need to know you can find it from here so this is the total dashboard of story scraper so in conclusion we hope that you find this video helpful in understanding how to use story scraper.io to create web stories quickly and easily it can save you time and increase your online presence with its ai automation feature so if you're interested in trying out story scraper click the link in the video description and take the first step in maximizing your web stories. Visit pitchground.com today and claim your lifetime license. Hurry, this sale won't last long. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>